Hi friends, welcome to our tutorials. This is Angular 8 complete full tutorial with live example. Today we will be learning about Angular 8 ng4 loop. Please uh, subscribe to my channel to keep getting latest tutorials and updates. Also, if you have any queries or technical doubts, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I will be happy to provide you free help and advice. Let's get started. So ng for loop, if you are coming from any programming background and if you are aware of the loop, loops that are used in programming languages like for loop, while, do while, ng for loop does something similar. Using ng for directive, we will loop for the data set and display them in the template. We can use multiple ng for conditions in the template. We can have multiple ng4 conditions as well as we can have nested ng4 statements in our template files. That's a quick overview about what ng4 loop is. So let's get started, see some practical. If you're coming from, if you're not, if you're not seen the previous videos, we are still continuing to build on our books application. So let's start, get started. <clears throat> All right, so I am using Angular and Bootstrap in this particular project but you can apply the same logic to if you are using any other framework like material design or foundation or anything. Let's get started. So I'm going to throw in a quick H3 tag here and then list. So my <coughs> list of users. So I just want to print the list of users and this is how it would look, list of users. Beautiful so far. Now let's get started and go to our temp component.ts file and we have to throw in a new let's throw in a variable as simple arrays to start with <clears throat> let's call it mark jenny that's it so we have a simple users array which has some values and now we will use this to loop and print the values in template now to use ng4, I'm going to use a simple ULLI list and we'll display the value in the list. So any built-in directive in Angular starts with asterisk ng and then we'll use ng4 equal to let user of users. So we are telling get one user at a time and then to display we'll use data binding and we'll put the user. So this way we write the ng4 and let the element of elements and then print the user. Let's see the output. So it shows the list of users as the users here. This is good so far. Uh, this was a simple array, but I'm sure you would have more complex use cases when it comes to uh, real-time applications. So we let's pull some details. I'm going to build one more complex a uh, little complex uh, objects now in the array. So I'm going to say name is Mark and phone number is one, two, three, four, five. Similarly, let's build some more objects. And then we are going to change the name. Give some different values. Alrighty, now we have a new array which is more complex in terms of structure. Now let's go. Now let's build one more loop. Just copy this. <laughs> so now we'll use the same the new array that we built, which is user details. Go here, user detail of user details, detail. Now we will use dot operator and point to the specific. See, now it is printing the name. I also want to print, we also want to print the user's phone number 
So we can use something similar and we'll use a pipe, uh, just a operator, and make it phone. So now this should display both name and phone number from this object. See, it's showing Mark and the phone number. So this way you can loop through any array object or a simple array and then use ng4 to print the user details. That was simple, wasn't it? Yep. So you now I would we have seen ng4, we have looped through the data, we have used multiple ng4 statements. That's all you need to know to get started with ng4 loop in Angular 8. Give it a try. Let me know if you have any questions. I would be happy to help you. Thank you so much for joining in our this episode. We'll see you in the next episode. For more tutorials, please do check out and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.